Tucson streets, if you've ever been here during the monsoon, most streets flood. And that's really a result of having all this area that's become urbanized, all this impervious area where the rain hits and it flows off that area and it becomes really it becomes a problem the way we've treated it. it. Enters the streets, floods the streets, then floods our washes. And instead of it becoming a problem, we're treating this as a resource. So we want to capture that stormwater where it generates and utilize it to grow more green space. So I'm Kat Loshipek with Watershed Management Group and I'm here today with in the Samos neighborhood and we're doing a neighborhood project uh, focused on pulling some stormwater off the streets to um, promote street side vegetation to work towards neighborhood beautification uh, projects traffic calming um, as well as filtering some stormwater pollutants out and reducing a little bit of flooding so as these practices um, become more prevalent uh, more commonplace uh, they, as they increase in number their um, benefits will multiply and the idea here is um, teaching other neighbors uh, it's almost becoming an example in stormwater harvesting, uh, street side beautification efforts, and our organization, Watershed Management Group, is assisting them with that effort. This project is, we're pretty much completing within a four hour period. It's pretty amazing what you can do with a group of volunteers. They shape the basins, they check the elevations with what's called a bunyip or a water level, and they're making sure that the basin's at the right depth. So we want to make sure the basin is lower than the level of the street so that it actually accepts water from the street. I have been helping dig basins for water. I've been uh, laying out rock to help with erosion control and also digging holes to plant trees. So right now um, we're moving on to the rock work, which um, what we're doing is putting in rocks as riprap to secure the sides of the basins. And it's um, basically going to prevent the soil from eroding, mm -hmm. and it'll keep the basin structure so that it has that nice shape to collect the water. Once we've finished with the rock work, um, we'll go ahead and put all the trees in and then finish with some gravel around the sides. Um, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to actually cut the curb. We're going to create gaps in the curb here, which will allow water that's flowing down the street to just naturally enter these basins. Uh, we're going to add uh, native plants and trees. So the native plants are going to you know, provide wildlife, native wildlife, um, food source. Um, the water is going to provide the uh, irrigation for the plants and the trees are going to provide shade. So reducing all the um, urban heat, heat island effect on the road and, um, and also increase uh, street beautification. So um, you know, it would be a, a lot nicer place to walk around. We heard about this great program for with trees for Tucson, planting um, in the easements, which we're doing right here, and making our neighborhood more beautiful and a nicer place to live, which I'm very happy about because I ride my bike down Spring Street every day to go to class at the U of A, and so now I will hopefully have more shade. <laughs> So what's happening here is as the water is traveling down the street, it's running along the curb. So we have a crested street, so it's pushing the water to the side. We're draining from parking lots. We're draining from rooftops, from the landscape itself. The water is coming down the watershed. Um, and what we're doing is creating some street side features that can utilize that storm water to grow trees, grow plants, beautify our landscapes. So here we have the water traveling down the curbside. It's entering behind the curb through a two inch curb slice that is shown there. And so as the street fills up, the basin will fill up. Once the basin is full, um, this curb slice acts as the inlet and the outlet. And so as the basin fills up, the water just continues on downstream. At this next feature, we have what's called a curb core, and it's a three inch core. So the storm water is traveling downstream, it can enter get behind the basin. Once this basin fills with water, it's then equalized in uh, elevation and water depth, and so the water continues on downstream and that hits the next feature and so on. So these are in series, and so that way we're capturing a very small section um, amount, small volume of water, and using it to uh, water, irrigate our plants and our trees.
If you're interested in getting involved with Watershed Management Group, you can visit our website, watershedmg.org, or call us at 520-396-3266. So either way you contact us, we'll make sure to get you signed up for our volunteer group. And once you join that group, you'll receive a weekly announcement outlining all the different activities you can get involved with and uh, get your hands dirty right away.